Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone this fabulous Wednesday? We are here, I know for the second time this week, the hashtag 50 stack challenge five hosted by Amy over at Crafty Cat. Um, this is her YouTube channel, Crafty Cat 7212. And then she's Craft Cat USA on um, Etsy. Yeah, and I do believe I have her linked below. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I, well, I have her YouTube channel. So, last week's challenges was dress form. And this is what I did for dress form. Used a couple of her um, art dolls that are on, um, on, yeah, <laughs> on dress forms. Good gosh, I can't, couldn't get it out. <laughs> so there's that one. This one I'm going to use in the Halloween, one of the Halloween journals. I'll probably use them both. I don't know. And then the uh, next one was favorite food, and I chose cake. I like my some cake, and I did some stamping on some old book page, and then cut them out and colored them with watercolor pencils, and put it on a, one of Amy's. Um, I don't know which kit this is from. I know that it is that I shrunk this down and printed it to to a page. Um, so I just turned it into a journal card. Yeah. I need to leave these out because I need to take pictures of them. <laughs> All right. So today's, today's prompts are brown bag. And for that, I have, okay, so I have a brown, it's almost like a glassine bag, but it's shaped like a glassine bag. You could use the brown packaging from Amazon or from, you know, shipments that you've received. You could, whatever. Um, she's not, as long as it's this brown, she's okay with, with it. As long as it's this craft color. And then the second one is Starry Night. And I pulled this out of my digital stash. Because it has stars and moons. So... I thought we would make, um, perhaps Halloween tag for, for, for one of the journals. So, now this, the brown paper bag, I think, I think, what do I have? What do I have? Because, you know, I'm a printing phenom. Um, okay, no. no, really? How did that print it? Well, that's weird. I saw weird, 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 weird. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so let's do brown bag. We're gonna do fall, so I am going to come over here and I'm gonna grab um Amy's fall polaroids I, I think that's grungy polaroids i can't i can't remember because well it's not like that um i'm gonna use this because i am gonna do a fall journal i've decided when that will happen i don't know probably after i start after i finish one of the or after i finish the halloween journal journals and this is um from pink monarch it's their neutral halloween papers this doesn't have any halloween on it it has leaves on it so that's why i thought this would work really well and the colors but you know i just had another thought well, I like that paper. Do I have it out over here? I don't know. Neutral Halloween papers. Hmm. Um, 
what was that? Oh, it was abandoned. I'm like, what was that called again? Abandoned. Do I have abandoned over here? I don't think so. Oh, I have Grungy Faldo. See, I don't ever really know what I'm going to be doing. Just so y'all know. Yeah, I generally have no clue as to what I'm going to be doing. I have a rough idea. <laughs> and by rough, I mean it's like a natural diamond you found on the ground. <laughs> rough. I mean, it's so rough that, yeah, I'm going to uh, grab the abandoned kit. I think it's the one that I'm wanting. I think. Well, I don't have very much out here. Well, that's just rude. Through nice fall colors. All tags. Apparently, I printed out a bunch of the pictures and stuff like that, but I didn't put. I don't have the actual turtle pages printed. What in the fluffer nugget was I thinking? <sighs> Apparently, I wasn't. Did I see there was a fall, like a grindy fall? I didn't know. I... Why, yes. Hmm. I can't look that one. Oh, I feel something. So, okay. And these are by Amy over at Crafty Cat. This is Grungy Fall, and this is part of her abandoned kit. And this is the, I think, Grungy Polaroids. I'm not really sure. Okay, now I know I don't want them, but I might want them. What did I do with them? Oh, put her over there. Okay. So, that paper got all mangled. Now, do I want this here? First off, let us find, oh, let's just use the decal trimmer because, well, it'll be easier. It'll be easier on me and on you because you won't have to watch me <laughs> struggle with it. So remember, if I'm slurring my words, sound like I have marbles in my mouth, um, sound, how tall is this? Um, it's twitching. It's not that I've been drinking. It's because of that ugly little tumor in my head causing hate and discontent wherever she happens to go. Okay, we're just going to cut this off straight right now. And if you watch my video at twice the speed, it sounds much better. It's really weird. I don't know why it sounds better, but it sounds better. Okay, now we're going to take some scorch timber. So I want a nice dark brown line. And that's really what this is. And I'm going to do the scrunching technique, which is fabulous. You know, I don't think I started the timer. I didn't. I don't know how long have we been going? Well, all right, when the timer goes off, we'll be done because you don't want to listen to me anymore. <laughs> okay, so the scrunching technique is to do this, you scrunch it, basically you wad it up and then you open it up. And then you just run over the paper with your dobbing tool and what it does is it 
suppose <laughs> to grab, see, onto the high, the high spots. I really like doing that. I don't know why. Okay, now we're going to, well, I'm sure. let's ink that. There. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay, fine. I can go back in there. I have my Halloween folders off over to the side because I'm using them for both journals, so... Yeah. So I'm recording this on Monday. I... So, yeah. It was... I don't have any, I really don't have any stories to, t to tell you because my life has been pretty boring. I got a new vacuum cleaner. Okay, I briefly touched on that yesterday. I watched Mac over at Midwest Magic Cleaning and it's the vacuum he recommends or that he uses. And I got to tell you, wow. Yeah, it's good. Okay, now these are all cut out, so... Oh, that looks very nice there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then, do I want a piece of this? Maybe. I want the decal. Oh, you know what I got? <laughs> Finally! It wasn't supposed to be here till like October 6th or something. The decal scissors! I haven't decided if I like them or not. Um... And it's pretty much the same reason I don't like any of these shape scissors is because I don't know that it cuts that good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, it cuts. Don't get me wrong. It cuts. It cuts better than you know, the tear ruler for me, because, well, as I get more and more twitchy, <laughs> and it seems like that keeps happening, I just, I don't know, I get stressed. Okay, I'm going to, no, I'm not. I was going to round these corners, but Polaroids aren't rounded, are they? No, pish posh. But I am going to ink around it because, 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 because of all the wonderful things he does. Yes. And then, okay, so let's do, do this one. So y'all, I am so looking forward. My husband is going to town. No, not this weekend. I was thinking it was this weekend. God bless America. He's going out of town next week. Last weekend of the month. And that's our anniversary. I'm not very happy about that, but, well, I guess. I don't think he realizes how unhappy I am about that, but, oh, well. You know what can you say? We've been married 30 years, so yeah. And I'm going to cut this, and I think I'm going to use this as like a label. Again, with the deckled scissors. Yeah, I want to say these scissors came from like over in the UK. <laughs> And that's why it, I think Amazon said it wasn't going to be here till like October, the first part of October, like October 6th or 7th, it may even been the 9th, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. Now I do have, I have some of her white grunge labels here. I might want one of them. What about that? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> but yeah, I don't really have anything. My little dog was naughty this morning. I think he saved it all up, you know, because he was really good last night. But I got after him. He was trying to eat. I have a bench at the foot of my bed. Because, you know, I had old dogs up until the last, well, not even, I had Maggie. So, up until, when did I get him? June? June? Yeah, the end of June. So, you know, old dogs need... Oops, oh jeez, now I dropped it. Oh, good God, now I don't know where it went. Some, oh, there it is. I'm like, it's somewhere on the floor. Of course, I'm not, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let me put this one down first. But he's trying to destroy it. He's ripping... He's ripping the, I mean, it wasn't, I I have needed to re-upholster it for quite a while, but, well, that's just one more thing on the plate of never-ending tasks for me. So, all right, there is our paper bag. I feel like I need something up here, but I don't really know what. Let's see, there's some smaller ones. Maybe another. No, maybe not that one. About. Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> that's funny. But a pumpkin. Yeah, it doesn't actually look bad there, does it? And it fills that need there. But, yeah, he was tearing the fabric off of it to get to, you know, the soft insides. The, the, the cushion material. I don't know what it is. He has a thing for cushion materials. I had, I was, well, I was rearranging my room and I had the sheets and washing, you know, bedding and all that good stuff. There, I like that. Okay, starry night. And he, um, he, yeah, I can't even talk now. Great. Fabulous. Um, he decided that the, I have, you know, memory or foam covers on my bed. You know, the, like the memory foam Pads, you know, I have, so I have a 10 inch memory foam mattress and then I have a four inch like egg crate type pad on top of that. This is not going well. Okay, there we go. Apparently it doesn't want me to use this. Little bit of it know that I'm going to use it regardless of what it does. Okay, then I don't want it this tall. I only want it about six inches. So let me find the mustard cutter. Because I'm making this with this. Now I could use that as like a base for. Yeah. A base for, you know. Okay, we're just going to go through this. Base for a pocket. There we go. I'll get it spit out eventually. Just takes me a moment or five. Again, slurring my words. Um... 
So I got marbles in my mouth, all of that. It's not that I've been drinking anything but coffee this morning. It's that ugly little tumor in my brain, Sam, causing hate and discontent wherever she happens to go because that's what she does. You know, I don't want those. I'll put those away. Let me grab. My book page, and it'll be fabulous. Okay, I'm just going to line this up like that. Get that a tear. Line this up over here. Give it a tear. That. I need to get my trimmer because there's no way I'm going to be able to get my finger underneath that little tiny bit and well it'll just be easier with the trimmer yeah. all right and like I said this one I'm making it in mind for a tag in one of the Halloween journals. Just on the other side. One's really big, but I kind of like her. Well, no, I think I like her better. Let's see what other flavors do I have in here. Hmm. Oh, there's that one. That one looks good. Uh -huh. hmm. Ooh, the house. I could put that there. I'm going to put the church there. Nope, I don't like that. I do like the church, though. I could use Frankenstein's monster. Now I kind of like that, so I think we're going to do that. And of course we're going to need book page or maybe piano music. How about some piano music back there? Yeah. And then I tore it. Maybe I want something darker. What is that? Oh, nature. But I do like the music. So, let me have my Ingle Punch. Okay, oops, now I got that all over. Then I'm gonna put that like right there. Okay. Put that like right about there. Okay. And then we're gonna put her right here. I'm going to round her corners. Just use the, I'm just using the little one just to, just cause I'm going to round him too. We can say that that's, um, oh, Dr. Frankenstein's sister. And, you know, Frankenstein's monster was in love with her. Okay. This one needs to be inked because there's, I don't know, order of some sort. 
doesn't look white, but it doesn't look as dark as I want it to either. Okay, there. And then I'm going to just quickly do that. There. There. I suppose I should do that to this too. There. There. And if I want, if I wanted, I could do some of that fall paper, but I don't want to. I might change my mind, but I don't know. It's a freak this second. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put that like right there. And I'm going to put him down here. Hold on, let's bring her down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Find a label. Number. No. Well, maybe. Could pull out some of some Tracy labels or some Tina labels. But I like the ink. Let's ink this up around the outside. I don't want that one. I think I want it, this one because I want to just do that to the tag because it makes it easier to go in and out of the pockets. Hopefully I've been in camera for all my videos that I've recorded today because if I haven't, oh, well, that's just rude. I know Sorry Sorry Night doesn't really look like a Sorry Sorry Night, <laughs> but it has the stars and moons. Of course, can't see the moon. Well, there's a little bit of moon. Okay, now then I'm going to take my crocodile. Oh, I don't. No, I don't want to put anything. I was going to put like a little tabby tab up here. Maybe I'll put one on the side. And I say I don't want to because I have a specific place. And oh, what about that? That wouldn't be bad. Let's fold this, maybe. Okay, there. Cut that side. Whoa! And then cut this side just so they match. Oh my goodness, I'm just chewing this up! And then I'm going to just take my scissors and cut a little there. Oops. Oh, dear. And that. And then there. And then there. All right. 
we can open this put some glue on it and just do it and if you're wondering why I'm putting the tab on the side, it's because I have a place for it in one of the Halloween journals. And that's really why. Goodness, it glue everywhere. And then, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Sorry, could not myself. I'm going to. We're gonna make a little dingle dingle. There, grab. I know I have them over here. Yes, antique bronze grommets or idols or whatever you want to call them. I call them grommets or eyelets. Whatever comes to my mind first, because that's how my mind works. <laughs> there, okay, and down with the crop dials. That's just so lovely. Excuse my reach. I'm looking for. I'm looking for this. This is what I'm looking for. One of those out. Put it back up there. Now I need some black lace. Oh, and let's do some mosquito netting too. I know it's not fabulous. I don't know how big a piece I want. There. And then I'm thinking we'll just do this one because while well, it's here and I'm here, you're here, we're all here. Hmm. Okay, and then. See, Twitchy doesn't like pens. <laughs> she just doesn't. I don't know why. Probably because she has poked a lot. Okay, so there's that. And then there's... Oops. Oh my. And then there's... Come on, seriously? Get in there. And then there's that. And then there's that. And then we just need to put this in like that. And close it. Sometimes that's the hardest part. There we go. Really? And it's backwards. God bless America! Oh dear. Oh my. There, now it's the right way. See, now it has a dingly. Okay, so we did that today. That one's not today's. And we did. So, brown, brown bag. We just decorated it and it'll have a tag in here. Well, I should have probably made a tag, but no, that's fine. I'll just stick that in there and it'll tell me that I need to decorate one. And then there's this one. So yeah, easy makes. Oh, you know, I think I want to put Maybe something on oh, that's not really big enough, is it? <laughs> Do I 
have up here? Oh, here. How about that? This is a piece of coffee dyed paper. And really, I don't care that it's all funky. Funky monkey! Oh! Okay, there. Still a squidge long. There. I know I'm not keeping those because this is crispy. It's crispy paper. Okay, then I need... Oops. Something fell. That's unfortunate. It sounded like it had many little pieces in it. There. I wonder what it could have been. Hmm. I don't know. There. I just don't like the red. That's what I don't like. I like everything else. I just don't like the red. And really, time cards are really good tag bases. And as long as you see a little bit of it, it's not bad. It's when you see like a whole lot that it gets out of control. Okay, so there we go. There's our tag for Starry Night. She's in the night. Frank, Dr. Frankenstein's sister going to visit him at school. And he's in the process at his secret lab making his monster. And it's a journaling tag and I put a dingle dangle on it. And then we have our brown bag. All right, so that is it for today. Tomorrow we'll be working in the one of the Halloween journals, probably the document style journal, because I haven't really worked in that one. And we all know from yesterday's video, I've worked a lot in the in the one video or in the one journal. So journal number two. So, all right. Well, that is a wrap for today. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. I know you guys are tired of hearing it. Oh, sorry. As you can see, I'm tired of saying it. <laughs> um, but it really does help the little channels um, to show up in YouTube's al algorithm. So, yeah. So I will see you tomorrow for one of the Halloween journals. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.